the front lines of southern Ukraine have become the focus in this phase of the eight months old war as Ukrainian forces advanced toward Kherson. The aim of Russia's assault in the south was to take control of Ukraine's main seaport at Odessa. However, Ukrainian forces in the city of Mykolaiv stopped the Russian advance. Even as Ukrainian forces move the front line farther away from Mykolaiv, its residents continue to live through brutal shelling every day. They bear the brunt of Russian attacks. Olha lost her home during a recent Russian missile strike on one of the city's residential areas. She and her family were rescued from under the rubble of their own house. She spoke to VOA hours after the attack. I woke up as the neighbors were screaming that there was something flying in the direction of our house. All the houses in our district have no windows, nothing. At some point, I felt cold in my soul. You realize that there is nothing left of what was so dear to you. It's just a terrible feeling. This was once a bustling city of 500,000 people. Now, half of the population has fled to safer places. Other residents like Olha continue their fight, staying to keep the city alive. Seeing Russian forces retreat from the Kherson region gives them hope. With that hope, they are repairing or rebuilding their homes and preparing to survive the difficult winter ahead. Olha will not let fear of the attacks or the cold stop her. I will continue to support relatives in the reconstruction of the apartment. We will restore it all. We simply have nowhere to go. We will rebuild and fight on. I hope that we will survive. It's all so dear to me, even in this condition. I am ready to stay here and fight until the end. Humanitarian organizations say they will be there for people as long as it's necessary. We are currently conducting a number of activities aimed at preparing for winter. This is the preparation of tents, the preparation of heating devices, and a number of other issues. Mykolaiv is not the only city in Ukraine that is caught in the crossfire. Although it has been devastated, its people are standing strong, surviving and serving as an example for the rest of the besieged nation. Anna Chernikova for VOA News. Kyiv, Ukraine.